Fernani's inquiries underscore the need for transparency and effective solutions to the fishing industry's challenges. The program was launched in 2020 to provide socioeconomic relief to former fishermen who lost their jobs due to strikes and retrenchment. The program, however, faces sustainability issues due to declining fish stocks. Minister Klassen stated this is in addition to the resistance of former fishermen to work in positions other than sea and the demand for increase in wages and benefits. These demands are unrealistic given the fact that the jobs previously occupied by the former fishermen were taken up by other Namibians when this group of former fishermen were separated from their respective employees. Ongoing demonstrations and petitions by the fishermen seek new fishing rights and quotas and raise concerns about resource management. However, the ministry is cautious about this approach, emphasizing the need to balance employment demands with the sustainable management of fisheries resources. The ministries of fisheries and labor continue to address these concerns by seeking information on vacant positions within the industry. When this outcry was so much, the Minister of Labor and uh, me, myself, as Minister of Fisheries, we went to Walfish Bay and we need to address these fishermen. And we addressed them in when the companies they, were they are employed at also. And we listened to their concerns. And I can say today that some of these concerns is really relevant and, and these concerns need to be addressed. The Ministry of Labour and Fisheries, we are busy looking into these concerns. And what we, what we have done is we wrote a letter to the Confederation of, Associ of Associations for Fishing and asked them to forward this letter that I wrote to them of the Ministry of, Fish of Fisheries to ask the industry, the fishing industry, to indicate to the Ministry of Fisheries if there is any positions vacant in the fishing industry that is now in, on fishing vessels as well as in the factories. We have received some and we are waiting on others to still respond to us so that we see how can we take it further from there. The government remains committed to supporting former fishermen while ensuring the long-term viability of Namibia's fisheries industry. Martha Mafangio, NBC News, Parliament.